Welcome to Curtis Ghost Corner, coming to you from a secret underground base in occupied America. Hi right, folks, welcome back. And those of you that are new, welcome. From Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, NBC, journalists say Republicans can't be covered equally with Democrats. CNN's Brian Stelter, NBC's Lester Hull, and others have rejected idea of balanced reporting. Finally, these pieces of <laughs> admitted out loud. Well, the fact of the matter is everybody's known it, except for members of Congress, obviously. Here's the deal. Conservative people see Democrats, I should say progressives and Democrats, as just misguided. Well, I consider them enemies now. But they think everyone on the left, their opponents, they hate their guts to consider them enemies, where a lot of conservative people just say they're misguided. We need to change that. We're bringing a knife to a gunfight. And the 14 senators that voted for the, the uh, GUN legislation and the red flag law changes should know that better than anybody. But here's the problem. They give a more about what the New York Times thinks, these Republicans, than their own constituents. Let's read on. Media figures on liberal media... Network, CNN, MSNBC, MSNBC, have pushed a narrative that Republicans do not deserve equal coverage alongside their Democratic counterparts, often claiming Republicans stand for anti-Democratic values and are more likely to push falsehoods. Really? We're con- most conservative people are constitutionalists. We do not live in democracy. And that's the problem. These morons think we live in a multicultural democracy. We don't. Thank God. We live in a democratic republic. Let me repeat that. They think we live in a multicultural democracy. We don't. We live in a constitutional republic. Democracies, pure democracies are evil and wrong. Uh, and MSNBC's the readout. Yeah, she's a real piece of work. Joy Reid, one of the probably, probably the person that needs more mental health treatment than anybody on, on cable. Except for maybe the ladies on The View, but they're technically not news. Joy Reid and her guest, left-wing political columnist Matthew Dow, suggested the media were too neutral. And urged fellow reporters to tell voters the GOP was a threat to freedom. Now let's... Let's shortly listen here to some video. Let's take a look. It's like this is some game where the opposition on each side is the same. Us and the media have to stop presenting this as if there are two equal partners in politics that we have to talk to. We don't. You don't talk to crazy people. We cannot have a false sense of equivalency about what is happening when it comes to politics in our country. There's one party right now that's not operating in fact that has been misleading the american people and that is the republican party sadly of which i used to be a member of the republican party good pretend as journalists that it is equal it is not democrats are doing their democrat thing and they're being you know liberal and they want all these things but that's the way normal politics operates and you we can deal that's the way normal politics operates if you act just like us that's normal politics these people are crazy equal weight and merit does not reflect the world we find ourselves in Decisions to not give an agenda, in fact, it's just the opposite. Our duty is to be fair to the truth. There are far too many in our profession who are really normalizing what's happening right now in an attempt to be or appear objective, uh, in an attempt to say, well, we're going to treat both political parties equally when we clearly have in this moment one political party Uh, that is passing anti-democratic policies, uh, that is upholding people with authoritarianism ideas. The media did mainstream the Tea Party and wants to, doesn't want to be in a war with the Republican Party. Let's just be clear. In general, the media does not want to be at war with the Republicans. They want to treat both sides the same. But both sides are not the same. And there you have it. Segregation. Just like how they think of like people. If you're a certain color, you have to go with this group. 
If you're a certain genetics, you have to go with this group. If you're a certain gender, and God knows there's thousands of them now, I guess. It's amazing to me. Figures on liberal media networks, CNN, MSNBC, and NBC, Republicans do not deserve equal coverage. It's amazing to me. She wondered to doubt how the media could get out of this both sides trajectory, to which she advised the media to act as though they were living in a society that wasn't free and treat Republicans accordingly. And that is their mantra. Living in a society that wasn't free and treat Republicans accordingly. You got to be kidding me. Absolutely. Uh, you know, they are so up, but I can't even tell you. It, it, it's hard for me to articulate. I guess my command of the English language is such, I can't figure out a proper word for how crazy these people are. Ugh. Lemon called the freedom to state his truth and stand up for his viewpoints imperative, knowing that journalists no longer live in a Walter Cronkite society. I wish we did. Except for the racist part. There was some racism going on back then. I'm 65. I, you know, I was exposed to it. I've seen it. Didn't like it. We cannot have a false sense of equivalency about what is happening when it comes to politics in our country. And that's going to be their mantra. That's the drum they're going to bang on. They're evil. They're evil. They're evil. They're wrong. They're racist. They're nationalists. They're homophobes. They're transphobes. They're Islamic phobes. They're phobe phobes and bad, 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 bad. They're evil, 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 evil. I guess we're going to have to just stop bringing a knife to a gunfight. You want open warfare? I mean, political open warfare for so the YouTube algorithm doesn't go out of their freaking gourd. Political, political war. Bring it on. Bring it on. It is not operating in fact. What? That there's hundreds of genders, if not thousands? Used to be a member of Don Lemon. Tucker Carlson calls him Don Lemon. I have so much contempt for these pieces of crap. Fellow CNN host Brian Stelter also questions whether Republicans should be given the same coverage as Democrats in December. These two morons and CNN, Stelter and Lemon, a.k.a. Lemon, have new bosses now, you freaking idiots. They're looking to get fired, I think. Really. They're looking to get fired so they can just, I imagine it's in their contract that they get paid. How many years they have left in the contracts? I really don't know. They're trying to cash out, and then they're going to write their books, and then they're going to be set for life. They don't give a good about you or anybody else or this country. They care about their bank account only. Oh, here we go. NMSNBC guest. It's not hyperbole to draw comparisons between Germany before the rise of Hitler, the GOP today. No, it's you guys. It's you guys that are trying to control the media, trying to control people's speech and thoughts. You're going after people that go into school board meetings or that are decent parents. You're going after people that work for or align themselves with your political enemies with the Department of Justice and the FBI. You bring law enforcement and guns after people that you don't like politically, and they say there's a familiarity between the rise of Hitler and the G GOP today. I mean, there's deflection, but holy, holy you got to be kidding me. This is deflection on steroids times 10. Don't get me going because these guys got me so pissed now. Uh, we don't need to hear both sides of a story. Good. I don't care if you want to hear it or cover it. Nobody's watching you guys. Your ratings are in the toilet. It's a reporter's duty to be fair to the truth, but my truth. You think this moron here, she won a Pulitzer Prize for a 1619 project. What a huge pile of horse. And any decent historian, at least privately, will tell you that all of it was crap. It was twisted and distorted. In 1619, we didn't have an America, you idiot. Let me give him that slavery part. Oh, God. The poll found 55% said every side does not always want equal coverage. Well, then fine. That 55%, I don't believe him, is nearly that high. Oh, 
Similarly, conf- conflicting with his previous response, yeah, I mean, these polls conflict all the time. It's like the poll, what do you think of Congress? And they have like a 19% approval rating. And then they, they ask in the same poll, what do you think of your congressional member? And it's like 85% positive. I'm like, <laughs> you can't have it both ways. Seemingly conflicting with the previous response, an overwhelming majority of journalists, 82%, said the press should keep their personal views out of reporting. 82%? Where are they getting these journalists from? High school newspapers? My God, my God. But only 55% told people they think journalists are succeeding. More than half think they're succeeding at putting their personal views in their... Uh, are these people on drugs? Unprescribed drugs, I might add? Or maybe even prescribed drugs that could dilute your thinking process. We are at political war. Period. We're a constitutional republic and conservative people want to uphold the constitution. The progressives and the Democrats live in a multicultural democracy. Both sides cannot coexist. One is going to win and one is going to lose. I just pray that the Constitutional Republic people in the end win. Until the next time, goodbye and good luck.